Welcome to another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be starting the floor replacement on the 1971 Dodge Challenger. Stay tuned. So this is the floorboard that I bought. Uh, they sell it, it's kind of two separate pieces, so it's the front section and then the two rear sections where the your feet go, um, you know, if you're sitting on the rear seat. So they only sell a one piece for a 1970 and I'm not 100% if it's the same. Uh, it was also really expensive to get that one shipped, so I went ahead and got this from Jags. Um, so I am... This is what I'm replacing. So the rear part, it has a little bit of surface rust back there, so that's not bad. Um, but this rear sections, which they are the same way in separate pieces from factory, uh, but you can see there's, you know, holes. And that one, I mean, it's non-existent. Uh, front one, that side, it's, it's got a rust hole over there. That one's a regular hole that's supposed to be there, but that's a rust hole. Driver's side, uh, there's some holes right there on the floorboard and right here where the seat bolts on uh, on that side where the seat bolts so it, it's it's pretty much completely you know uh, destroyed here so I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this out first thing I'm gonna do though is take off this quarter trim panels uh, because this piece here goes right in this corner so just that way it's out of the way I'm gonna take both of these off and then I'm just gonna start cutting. Um, I don't really have an, uh, really a plan of, I'm just gonna start probably cutting right close to the edge all around and then I'll get to right at the edge here. Um, looks like the floorboard is just welded down right here. So I'm gonna, you know, just do that end and then right on the front, it butts up with the um, firewall. And I think that piece is gonna be okay as far as of right now. So I'm just gonna cut it there and then weld it to that front piece as well. I do have to save this bracket for the center console, I know. And I might try to salvage some of this because for this, for the manual car anyways, this is kind of like a separate piece that you could bolt onto the floorboard. If you see the one over there, it's just uh, kind of the same shape all the way through. Now this one's kind of destroyed on the bottom where it was, you know, kind of like welded to the floor pan. Uh, really the only, the main piece I need or I want is this bracket for the center console. I'm not gonna put the original tranny so this hole doesn't really matter. I might not put that on there but I am gonna save it in case I need it, so. And then whatever brackets go underneath here, underneath here like this one, um, I'm gonna see how they are if I clean them up. Uh, it, this one looks kind of rusted so I might just cut it off and order new ones to weld on from the bottom. And then the cross member goes right in this area too so I think that one will be okay underneath but we'll find out once I take it out. Went ahead and took the panels off. So these are pretty simple to take off. Just a few bolts. Um, Allen wrench for the window crank and you just pull them out forward they come out so um, there's few I don't know some kind of like trash in there but um, I'm gonna move this wire out of the way looks like this is the tail light harness actually it looks like I can unplug it so I'm gonna just unplug it here put it back there out of the way and then just you know start cutting all around Okay, um, moved the harness back here. Uh, it's really cool that it has a plug right there. So, you know, like my Mustang is just one piece. So I uh, took the dimmer switch off there. And so once again, I'm just gonna start cutting. I know the new floor pan doesn't, you know, and same like the old one looks like it's just right here. So I'm gonna cut about an inch in. Uh, and then later I can see about drilling those spot welds and uh, go from there.
All right, so I got the floorboard pretty much all removed. Um, you know, it's in a bunch of pieces. It's, I mean, you can take it out all in one piece if you're able to pinpoint all the spot welds. This one was so rusted on the surface that, you know, it was really hard to pinpoint really where all the spot welds are. So I just cut it and, you know, I still have, I started to clean up the edges here. Um, I still got to go around and, you know, remove some up there a little bit, cut a little bit more off on the firewall. Um, looking under the dash, I do see a big hole on the, on the cowl area. So, um, I'm thinking that I'm going to replace that, you know, the front firewall cowl. It's two separate pieces. Now that's quite a bit of work. So, um, I mean, I know I'm going to replace all that all the metal that needs to be replaced on this car eventually. So with that said, I mean, um, so like this cross member is pretty good. Um, this one, so I'm gonna clean up, but they're, you know, they're fair shape. Um, I mean, they're solid. They have like surface rust, but I'm gonna clean them. I'm gonna put some rust encapsulator on everything. But like the, you know, the fire or cowl firewall up there on top. So it's the cowl area. It's kind of two pieces and I mean, there's no way it already has holes, so there's no way to really fix it other than repair it. Now, I can buy the whole piece and only maybe repair the top, but at that point, it wouldn't make sense for me to spend money on buying the whole piece and then, you know, cut the top part off. So what I think I'm going to do is I'll cut, you know, right at the edge there where it butts up. It has like a, you know, the floor pan is bent kind of like this. And instead of welding it, I'm just gonna put some uh, screws to put it together to the firewall. Uh, because the plan is get the engine in there, get it running, drive it, and then I'll probably pull the engine back out later on and replace like the inner fenders, those need to be replaced. And at that point I can do the cowl and the firewall. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. As far as the floorboard, I wanted to replace it because you saw the big holes. I couldn't really even bolt the seat in here. And so, you know, I'll get this replaced. Um, I think I'm going to, well, I don't think, I am going to need to buy the sit, seat uh, reinforcement pan pieces, which are these. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and this almost looks just like kind of half cut um, C channel. And so... But I'm going to just cut these off now and order some new ones um, and I can weld those from underneath. But um, this is kind of the one that's the best here, but it still has rust. The rest of them are pretty rusted. So I might just buy C channel and, you know, um, I might do my, my own subframe connector. So go from the bottom of this, weld it because the floor pan is going to be down here. So weld uh, the C channel to this back piece of the frame underneath here and then attach it to this one here. Um, and that'll be kind of like my own subframe connector. I'll try to put it as close here uh, and then maybe I'll use the same material to actually just cut some pieces here. And if I do that, I might be able to just cut them longer so that way both sides of the seat bolt onto that uh, it should make it stronger and i can also tie it into this bottom piece so uh, i might do that that might be less expensive than buying i think these are like 50 dollars each piece so i could probably spend a couple hundred dollars and get quite a bit of that c channel that's thicker and use it for that and you know that'll reinforce the frame i mean i'm not doing a conquer correct restoration here so um, i just want something that's solid good to drive good to enjoy so uh anyways i'm gonna keep cleaning this all up um, i'm running of daylight today so we'll see how far i get but i'm just gonna keep cleaning this up and then i'll try to kind of throw the floorboard in here just to see how it looks i still have to i cut that piece off so i'm gonna get you know those pieces off for the center console cut off of the scrap pieces and then that way i can get rid of everything clean up um, I cut all the emergency brake cables and everything because I'm gonna do something different. Uh, the rear end that I'm putting in here has different brakes anyways. And so, 
I'm not gonna use any of this factory plus all this stuff is pretty much junk uh, emergency candle and everything I don't think it works so um, I did take the accelerator pedal off there's two bolts and I'll probably look into getting the clutch pedal off since it's not gonna be manual if it's one piece I might have to find a automatic pedal to put in there probably find one on eBay um, unless there's aftermarket ones if I can make that one work then I'll just leave that one but uh, you know usually the brake on manuals is a little bit closer to the gas but you know I can work with that anyway so anyways uh, I'm gonna get my grinder uh, it's charging my battery side but um, get back in there and hopefully I don't think I'll get this welded in here, but by the end of the day, I can drop the pan in here and then just see how it's gonna look. And maybe next, uh, another day, I can weld it all in. All right, got everything cleaned up under the car. Um, got the floor pan in here, so if it's pretty good. Um, I trimmed this piece here because I didn't wanna cut this corner out. Um, I just cut it like that and the little metal piece um, that holds the bolt for the seatbelt, I believe, I'm gonna have to trim it on the back because it's hitting. Uh, that one is a little bit sticking out a little bit more too, so I have to trim that. Um, other than that, it fits pretty good. Um, I don't have time to weld it, so next episode I'm gonna just weld it. And uh, I'll have to drill holes, you know, where I can weld through all around um, i'm gonna mark underneath where the cross member is that way i can drill holes on the edge and then like i said back there i'm just gonna bolt it on that flange because i'm probably gonna end up replacing that whole firewall but uh, it looks looks a lot better i mean i don't want to get in there because it's just thrown in there um but this is where the cross member is and you know it's i mean definitely looks better and it feels it's gonna be way stronger it's gonna make the, the car stronger just because it's not all rusted through and like but that's it for today thank you for watching any questions comments leave them below subscribe to our channel we'll see you in the next one